Hi folks, in this video we're going to download Google Chrome and get it set up on the computer. So let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and we will go and simply do a search for Google Chrome and you will see that uh, google.com slash chrome is the address where you can go and pick up this new browser. So we're going to click on the blue download button and we're going to agree to the terms and also pay careful attention to this little checkbox here which says set Google Chrome as my default browser. If you don't want it as your default browser, uncheck that box. If you do leave it as your default browser, uh, when you click on a link in an email or any other kind of document or a, a link on your desktop, uh, Google Chrome will open instead of Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever else you've been using. And um, you may or may not want to check off help us to make Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics, etc. Um, I prefer not to have extra information flying around, so we'll ignore that and click on accept and install. Now here comes the launching application bit. Now you'll see down at the bottom on my taskbar, I have a little bit that's flashing there. And uh, that's the window that's come up wanting to run. Um, as you can see, sometimes these things hide behind the window that you're already on. So pay attention to uh, your taskbar if uh, things don't seem to be happening as expected. And then go ahead and click run. And it'll continue on with its install. This is the computer asking, are you sure you want to do this? We've started this ourselves, so we for sure want to say yes. And now the installer is initializing. The installer will connect to the internet and start downloading the full installation files. And then as we can see here, begin the installation itself. Now here's Google Chrome popping up for the first time. And the first thing it's going to ask you is to sign in. All right. So now you can use a Google account, any Google account that you already have to sign in. You can uh, create an account using a link on the bottom. But uh, what you may want to do is just skip this for now, right? And simply use it as a browser without all the additional uh, tracking and um, what do you call it? Well, if you sign into a Google Chrome browser on another computer, as well as your own, your bookmarks, etc., will be synchronized, right? That's part of the benefit of, <coughs> excuse me, of signing in. But uh, let's skip that for now and just use it as a browser. Now it tells you right away that you can search from here with Google. So that means your address bar is now also uh, your search bar. Okay, so you can put in an address or you can type in, you know, for example, the Beatles and get a Google search here. And there's also a getting started tab that will open for the first time. And it'll give you a, a bit of an overview about how Google Chrome works. Um, take a look at that, of course, because it may be different than what you're used to. And of course, we can close that off and close off Internet Explorer that we started out with. And we can see down uh, on the taskbar here, uh, there's the Google Chrome icon. We can click that. Okay, and it pops up and we could go ahead and start browsing. Now it does ask, because we chose not to make it the default browser, uh, it will ask, would you like to do so? And it'll do this each time you open it, unless you click on don't ask again, like so. Okay. And there's one other a little notification here that it will be of interest to many of you, which is import bookmarks. Now we can go ahead and click on that. And we can choose, in this case, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Uh, if you have a bookmarks HTML file from Firefox or what have you, uh, you could try that as well. But uh, 
it will try and detect any compatible uh, browsers in terms of compatibility, in terms of being able to import. Um, for example, if we did have Firefox on this machine already, Firefox would be in that list. And we can choose to uh, import all these items or just uh, certain ones. But we'll go ahead and click on import and grab everything. And that will bring your uh, you know, Google Chrome experience more in line with what you've already set up in your other browser. Okay, and a uh, good idea to hear here where it has always show the bookmarks bar, leave that checked and click on done. Okay, and the bookmarks bar of course is this little bit up here. And uh, because there's so many items, it goes off to the right. We click the little double arrow symbol there. And you can see there's a folder called imported from IE. So that would hold all of the extra bookmarks, okay, that um, had been pulled in from Internet Explorer. And there you have it. You now have a uh, fully operating Google Chrome browser. Um, we are here after doing that import, etc. We're on the settings tab. You can scroll through the settings tab and see if there's anything you want to change. Like, uh, for example, here, click on show home button. I always think that's a great idea. And if you'd like to have a specific page for a home page uh, with Google Chrome, the, you know, a new page, the, the home page is kind of like this tab page here, but uh, you could click here, open a specific page or set of pages, click on set pages. And for example, if we wanted Google, google.ca or google.com, depending where you are in the world, right? And then uh, now if we go ahead and close Chrome and open it up, you get the regular Google page. Although, of course, there's Google art on the page today. It doesn't look quite regular. There you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and have a great day.